Hello everybody, my name is Benjamin Tuttle and I was supposed to do a an animation uh, kind of going through my workflow process but Shadowplay decided to be a total jerk and crash and bug out and I lost about an hour of work. It's really late at night so I just want to quickly go through my production process give you some suggestions and hints to making good iClone animation. Uh, this is a character. She says two lines. Uh, did he um, get the message? And thank you. Those were two lines that she says. And I had to completely, you know, to animate this. This is going to be for major production. I'm going to save these as a motion plus file and bring it to the Unreal program. Fairly easy process but um, if you really want good animation uh, hopefully this will help you so I'm gonna play these two clips to show you I might have to slow this sorry I'm still making adjustments you always make adjustments on these dang things Let's see. I like that. That's a lot better. All right. So the first thing I would do is I would kind of get a motion from the icon library. I usually use Mix Motion, Mix Moves Communication 200. That's what I use for these motions. I constantly go back to these, and then I kind of run through the clip over and over again and match it up with the voice once I find a match then I kind of extend my um, motion here I most of the time most mocap is over exaggerated so you can make edits you can slow it down so you can have a good match it that's how it goes it's just there for easy editing so then I go through the motion layer Here's a little tip. This comes from the Animator Survival Kit. When it comes to animating your characters, do it in silence. Don't listen to music. Don't talk to friends. Don't watch videos. It's just silence. Remember, you're giving your character life. It needs your full concentration. You need to focus. This is your character. You got to move. You got to know how the human body moves. Not only that, but we kind of communicate non-verbally. There's uh, body, you know, we got no body language. So for her, she's nervous. So she's going to be a little closed off. That's why she crosses her arms. She's a little, in, she's a little nervous. She doesn't know what to expect. So let's see this line again. So when she looks down, she said, when she says um, she looks down. She's been nervous. Get the message. So kind of slowly going back up. These little things are important. How would you, how would a character handle this? Like she's looking up, she's a little nervous. Did he um, get the message? And you gotta, it's, it's acting. You gotta look into that, like acting. A character can't stand still. They gotta, there's little moments where they look down, look around, the eyes everything that's incredibly important to consider so it helps to act out act it out or kind of see references anything just to get an idea if it's just a character standing still not doing anything and talking is incredibly boring and the name of the game is retention if your audience is bored out they go if a character looks like a goddamn robot out they go it, that's why you want your characters to be organic. They're human beings. Unless your character is an android, then have them move like a robot. But most of the time, if your character is a robot, or I mean, if your character is a robot, act like a robot. If your character is human, act like a human. So that's important. You're giving them life. Number two is learn the principles of animation. It's an old uh, Disney animators. Uh, uh, World book, I guess. Uh, squash and stretch. There's ease in and out. Anticipation. I could go on and on and on. Um, 
one of the most important ones you need to do is you need to know ease in and out and you know you need to know anticipation i don't see many iCloners uh, employ anticipation into their work it's usually when a character jumps they just fly they don't bend down and jump up uh, a good example of anticipation is if you ever seen a baseball game a uh, pitcher doesn't just throw the ball they wind up and throw that's important and this is what we see in the second clip and I'll show you so let's play the clip one more time so she kinda looks up and then before looking down and that's kind of important there so let's go to the second clip there we go so anticipation is when her head moves up and then the shoulders move up before they go drop down so you kind of see it actually maybe I should uh, where's the let's just move the shoulders just a little bit more and I'm gonna make some fine range adjustment let's try again that's a little bit better so you kind of see the shoulders going up and the head moving up before they move down that is anticipation and that is important in your iClone filmmaking it's much more realistic the audience knows that way the audience isn't going what the hell and getting confused and lost and you break them and then suddenly it's over that little anticipation, that little organic movement is important. And yes, animation is very tough. It's very tedious. And you're going to have to go through multiple passes at a time. I don't know how many times I scrub through this line over and over and over and over again. And it's going to probably continue. I'll probably find something the next day and fix it before it's good to go. But the name of the game is retention. It's important. You want your characters to be human beings, not robots, unless they're robots. And go ahead. Hopefully, this will help you. My name is Benjamin Tuttle, and I hope to God this works.